Beijing, the bright, white Yangcheng ski course northwest of Beijing sticks out on the brown and dry landscape of the surrounding Shouhechuo Mountain. The venue was the site of highly anticipated men's and women's downhill ski events at the Beijing Winter Games on Monday. Underneath each of these top-tier athletes' skis was almost entirely artificial snow. Low temperatures at this Olympic venue are downright frigid, real snow is not easy to come by. Where can you go to get minus 15 degrees Celsius, and sun and no snow coming for a week? Norwegian alpine skier Chetel Jansrud said of the venue. As the climate warms, experts in winter sports say the use of fake snow in athletic competitions is the new reality, natural snow hasn't been a reliable option for professional ski and snowboarding competitions for some time, that includes at the Winter Olympic Games. Human-made snow is likely going to be at all future Olympic alpine events, according to Bernhard Trussi, the chairman of the International Ski Federation's Alpine Committee. This is nothing new. Already in the past, I would say 5 to 10 years, we have been skiing only on man-made snow, Rusi said during a press conference. Host cities of earlier Winter Games relied on, to some degree, fake snow. The 2018 Pyeongchang Olympics had similarly dry, yet frigid temperatures as Beijing. Other hosts, Sochi and Vancouver, also deployed artificial snow on mountain ranges due to unseasonably warmer weather. Placing ski and snowboarding venues in regularly dry climates turned out to be a small obstacle for Olympics organizers. With the right technology, the perfect ski conditions are just a button away. The snowmaking process began back in November, and continued for seven weeks, according to Wei Quan Hua. He is the mountain operation manager at Hejong Jiako and Diangshu Olympic venues. The machine used during the 2022 Winter Games allows technicians to choose different types of snow to factor in what's needed for each sport. The smaller the number, the lighter the snow, said Wei.